Oh, hey, never can be too careful. Let me teach you about inverse functions. Okay, I have a couple of examples. This n of x is equal to 4x minus 12. We're going to find the inverse function of that. Okay, the first thing I would do is just change that to a y. Whenever this is changed to y, you'll, you'll understand here in a second. All you need to do is flip-flop the x and the y. Oops, 4y minus 12. And then go ahead and solve for y. So you get x plus 12 equals 4y. To polish it off, divide both sides by 4. And then sure enough, y is equal to x plus 12 over 4. But we want n of x, so we're going to replace that. But this is the inverse function. So this is how you write it. The inverse of n of x. It's not n to the negative 1. Don't ever say it. They'll laugh at you. The inverse function n of x is equal to x plus 12 over 4. Let's do another one. We got j of x is equal to x minus 7 over 10. Okay? Change that to a y just for convenience sake. Okay, so there we go. We're going to interchange the x and the y. Okay, now we got to do a little cross multiply. I'm going to put that over 1. That's a little technique. And you get y minus 7 equals 10x. And to finish it off, let's add 7 to both sides. x is equal to 10x plus 7. But again, it's not x. <clears throat> it is j. We've got a j of x. We've got to find the inverse. So the inverse function is equal to, I don't know, why did I put a y here? Yes. Excuse me. That's a y. Okay? Is inverse function of j of x is 10x plus 7. And there you go.